Well, it's still plus politics and plus TV Africa. Let's talk about the university community, shall we? University workers under the aegis of the Joint Action Committee, JAC, of the non-academic staff union, NASU, and the Senior Staff Association of Nigerian Universities, SANU, are to start a three-day national protest tomorrow, Tuesday, against the government's handling of issues, uh, such as the controversial um, integrated personnel payroll information system, IPPIS, non-payment of earned allowances, non-payment of arrears, of new minimum wage, the delay in the renegotiation of the federal government's NASU-SANU 2009 agreements, amongst many others. Now, the union stated that it would consider other options to take, including embarking on an indefinite strike after the protest. Well, joining us for this conversation, I have Mr. Sahid Husseini. He is the SANU chairman for Lagos State. And I also have Ben Chuku. He is uh, the SANU chairman for River State. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. I I'll start with you, Mr. Sahid, quickly. You are the SANU chairman for uh, Lagos State. What was the initial agreement with the federal government um, on this? Because as I, I understood, you before ASU had taken um, an agreement of sorts and you had gone on the IPPIS portal before uh, ASU negotiated and renegotiated with the federal government to come on that portal. Run us through it and let's give us a clear understanding on, on what your agreement was initially. Well, I am Kormid Osenis. I'm the chairman of uh, San Lagos State uh, University chapter. Well, on the issue of the uh, IPPIS, it is our belief that... Uh, the government from inception is going to be you know, sincere in its uh, agreement with, uh, with the union mm -hmm. in terms of the IPPR health uh, model. But unfortunately, and that was the reason why our union actually keyed into it with the belief and hope that the IPPRS is going to be the best option, at least as far as the payment of uh, you know, workers is concerned in the university system. Unfortunately, we realized that at the end of the day, rather than the uh, IPPIS serving the interest for which we agreed, you know, uh, for which we agreed to its model, is uh, at the end of the day, actually goes a long way to, uh, uh, to create more problems for the university system. What, does, what, what do you mean by it created more problem for the university system? That's what we are trying to understand here. What problems did it create if... At first, you had taken a look at what the government had planned for you in the IPPIS, and then you keyed into it, like you said. How does it then create a problem for the university community? Thank you very much. One of the problems created by the IPPIS model is, one, uh, non-recognition of statutory deduction, like, you know, uh, cooperative deductions, um, cooperative deductions, uh, Union check of dues and some other allowances, and some other allowances that are peculiar to our members. For instance, ship duty allowance, call duty allowance, and some other allowances. And in fact, as a matter of fact, it even went a long way to even you know shortchanging our members in terms of uh, the payment of their salaries. Some at the end of the day ended up receiving far lower than what they are expected to, to at least to be paid at the end of the month. These are some of the problems and many more created by the IPPRS. All right, just to stay on that, I want to go to Mr. Ben Chiku now, who is uh, joining us on phone from River State. Mr. Ben Chiku, he made an assertion that at the end of the day, some people are earning way lower than they should have earned in the first place. Does this mean that you did not necessarily take a thorough look query and then do the necessary research you had to do before jumping on this horse with the federal government. Mr. Benchiku, can you hear me? I can hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I, 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 my problem is I'm, I'm on transit. You know, I'm on the road driving, but I will make one or two issues clear. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. On the issue of IPIS, 
the system of payment platform, uh, just as my friend said, instead of making better our situation, it appears it aggravated it. Mention had been made on some deductions that are supposed to be remitted to investors. For instance, our dues. Some tools that I'm supposed to do, like my investor, Investor Botagot. We have not got our dues for some three, four months. Other allowances that are meant, like the third party deductions, are not forthcoming. A lot of allowances that we've been enjoying before this platform came to be had all been eroded. I was thinking that that will make the system simpler. When it was advocated, yes, we accepted it on the ground that it should make corruption in the university system. But unfortunately, it appears it has created more problems than solving it. And that is why we are saying in totality condemning that um, platform payment. Mr. They are aware that the Northern staff have floated their own payment platform. And we want to go by that. Okay, Mr. Because Chico. we have tested it and worked it. Okay, Mr. Chiku, again, I just want to be clear. This is for clarity reasons. You said you'd hopped on this idea because you thought it would help to um, clear corruption in the system. But it is clearly stated in that IPPIS um, agreement with the federal government that this monies will have to go through a certain due process and it would go directly to your accounts from the federal government. There are no corners being cut. But I, I keep insisting, why were you not clear on the allowances that were to be paid? These allowances that you're talking about today, all those third party situations that you are also complaining about, why wasn't it tabled from the onset? Or was it tabled and the federal government said they were going to do something about it, which they didn't? This is where I'm looking for clarity. Are you up to me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. It's unfortunate. See, I can't capture you well because I'm moving and driving. Okay. That's my problem here now. Yes. Okay. So I don't know if, if Mr. Osseini heard me. Uh, let him attempt that question. Mr. Osseini, did you hear my question? <clears throat> that did we put into consideration, <clears throat> you know, the payment of these uh, allowances? Yes. It? Well, fine. You know, some of these things were actually, you know, uh, discussed some of this, uh, some of this, uh, the issue of these uh, deductions. I mean, the allowances and the statutory deductions were actually, you know, presented to the government uh, negotiation uh, negotiation team. Why these things were at least were going on, and it was part of the agreement we were made to believe that the IPPIS platform is going to recognize all these uh, statutory deductions. Like, for instance, uh, the payment of uh, check-off dues to unions, the responsibility, the responsibility allowances to some category of uh, workers, shift duty allowance, call duty allowance, and other allowances, statutory allowances. All these were actually presented to, to government, of which the government either is actually aware of in, and considering the peculiarity of the university system. And it is our belief, we were meant to believe that the platform is going to capture all these uh, uh, allowances considering the peculiarity of the university system. Unfortunately, rather than capturing it, rather than addressing it, because it is our hope that that platform is meant to curb corruption in the system. And as a responsible union, we are interested in anything that will curb corruption in the system and that will enhance the improvement of the university system. And that was the reason why we keep into it. Unfortunately, the reverse is the case. And that is why we have to turn back against, the, uh, against, uh, against it. And that is why our union is now rejecting it in its entirety. Because rather than serving us 
at least. So that's that, 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 that serving us too well. Rather than being at least, rather than being uh, being positive in its uh, operation, it ended up, you know, adding and creating more problem for the for the system. So like I said, so, so in it, other words, even, it was the system was so bad to the extent that even some of our members were actually paid far lower than what they were supposed to earn in the first instance. All right, Mr. Saini, um, just before I go on with my next question, I want to thank Mr. Ben Chuku. He's in transit, so we're going to let him go. Um, uh, Mr. Chuku, thank you very much for speaking with us. Unfortunately, it's very difficult for you to hear us, but we appreciate you coming on and taking the time out to speak with us. All right, uh, but back to you, Mr. Saini. Um, now that you have, you know, discovered that you've been somewhat shortchanged, according to you, um, Apart from the planned protest, what other strategies are you going to be um, undertaking in order to get the government's attention to your situation? Because if you are saying that you're taking, some, some of your colleagues are taking far lower than what they used to take before now uh, as take-home pay, then that definitely is a problem knowing what we're going through during this COVID-19 era. Other than the protest, which, you know, we've seen things like this happen again and again and the government doesn't budge, what are, the, what are the ways are you going to try well, to get government to come to the table on this situation? Well, in a situation like this, we as a, you know, we have our own uh, strategy. And part of our strategy is, you know, to really express our grievances to the government. And one of the ways by which we can express our grievances to the government is, you know, by, you know, staging a protest for which we have decided to embark on, starting from uh, tomorrow. And, and, if the, and, if, and if the protest any doesn't work... responsible government... If the protest start, doesn't work, what if it doesn't work, if the government doesn't pay well, attention it, to you? Well, the situation will take care of itself. If the protest doesn't... Which is, I believe that the protest will work. But if the, federal, if the government fails to listen, if they fail to heed the cause, if they fail to heed our cause, if they fail to address the situation, then the situation would definitely, uh, the situation would definitely determine the next line of uh, action that we are going to take as a union. And what could this best line of action be, being that ASU has done its fair share? In fact, they've done a number on the university students and you know an academic year. And we know that universities are supposed to start sometime this January. And here we are. There cannot be a university without the non-academic staff and, of course, the senior staff association. So what is the fate of the actual person who calls himself or herself a student? And what is the fate of education in Nigeria if we keep having this back and forth with the federal government? Well, unfortunately, the senior we are, you know, the part of the country where we have found ourselves is, the is so unfortunate. And it is, it is also worrisome to us as workers as workers and uh, as parents. But fine, of course, our, our, our welfare is also key to us. We are parents. We equally have children, for at least which we actually have to know, to take care of too. We have families, which we have to take care of. So, and it is our, so it is our belief that uh, we, we will not love, at least, uh, people more than ourselves. We love the system, and it is, it is, our, it is our, in our best interest that the, the, at least the, 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 the system continues to function effectively. But uh, that will not be done, at least at our own detriment. It is our belief that the government should be able to do the, the full at all times. Should be able to keep to its agreement with the, with the, at least, with the unions. Should be able to live up to its responsibilities, provide infrastructure in the system, fund uh, uh, the, the, the university system appropriately, and attend to workers' demands. Okay. As quickly as possible, without much delay. Okay. If well, all these are addressed, automatically there will not be problems in the university system. Well, well, we'll keep our fingers crossed and we hope for the best um, as you go out tomorrow on your protest. Uh, we've been speaking with Sahid Hosseini. He is uh, Sanu Chairman, um, Lasu Chapter. Thank you very much, Mr. Sahid, for speaking with us. We also had earlier on joining us uh, uh, via telephone from River State, um, Ben Chuku, the Sanu Chairman, River State. Thank you so much for speaking with us. You're welcome. All right. Well, we'll take a short break. And when we return, I'll give you my take. Stay with us. It's time for my take.
Now, here we are again talking about yet another security outfit saddled with the responsibility of protecting lives and property. But then they're taking those lives as opposed to what they were commissioned to do. So what do we make of this? What exactly is the problem, one may ask? Is it power? Is it the uniform? Why is killing the first line of action when there are so many other options that we could resort to before pulling the trigger? Well, all I would say is we must we can and we will do better. And finally, the university IPPIS situation has dragged on too long from ASU, now we have SANU, and of course, one would ask, when will it end? When will both the federal government and these groups find a common ground and do the needful, having in mind the future of our children, who seem to be the, you know, the people who suffer the backlash of these bouts and these drags? Again, we must strive to do better.